Thanks for my name motivation. All right, so for Monday motivation, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite characters in the Bible. He's not referenced a ton, or at least a majority of the Bible, but he's a very important one because of what Jesus says about him. Jesus says he's one of the most important men to live, speaking of John the Baptist. The reason on Monday motivation I want to talk about John the Baptist is because John the Baptist's lifestyle. John the Baptist lived a crazy, ex- not extraordinary, but very different preferred life than a lot of us would live. He wore clothes that were itchy and ugly. He ate food that was gross and disgusting, like bugs and honey. And he lived in a place that nobody really wanted to live. So the question is, why did he do these three things if that wasn't popular? Well, it's simply this, because he felt called to serve the Lord, and he did those things to make that possible. He served the Lord the best way he could. He lived out in the wilderness in the middle of the nowhere, because that's where ministry was happening. He ate bugs and wore those clothes because that's what he had and he was distracted by the other things so he just had the simple things it's not that he felt forced to do that it's what he felt called to do and in John's life there was no regrets he would feel completely satisfied so the reason I want to talk about John the Baptist on Monday motivation is to motivate us on really what we feel that we need what we feel that we are called to do. Because right now in this time of quarantine, we're all challenged in many ways, feeling like we can't have what we feel we need. And really right now we are questioning, do I really need some of these things in my life? How can I still serve the Lord in this time? I believe God has a plan for us, even in this time of quarantine, but we need to be those who are constantly asking, Lord, am I serving you? And the last thing is this. We are all quarantined in our amazing houses with amazing things like toothbrushes and soap. And I am so thankful and praising God we do not have to eat bugs and honey and that we all have a comfortable bed or at least a bed. Maybe it's not the most comfortable, but hey, listen, it's a bed. It's not rocks, right? And I'm so thankful for that. Even though we're quarantined, you know, it's still possible to serve the Lord. We have the freedom to have our Bibles. We have online church going. We have YouTube where we can connect with each other and Instagram and and FaceTime and texting and phone calls. And all that is still possible. The Lord is so good. And we can be those like John the Baptist who are completely satisfied and where we are currently, no matter what our situation is as long as we have communication with Jesus. That's why John the Baptist did all those things, because he made Jesus a priority, and Jesus would go on to bless his life in tremendous ways and leave John with the greatest testimony in any man besides Jesus himself. And that's something I hope that all of us can have someday as well. So be encouraged, be motivated, live like John. You don't need to eat bugs. But be satisfied in what you have. Be content in what you have. The Lord has a plan. We can have faith in that. Hey, before we end today's video, I just want to really quick show you a new skill that I've learned in this time of quarantine, as well as a reminder. Send us your cool videos. All right, you want to see what I learned real quick? All right, let me show you. a little bit too much. Hey, I want to say, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's what I really wanted to say. Also, I wanted to challenge for those who watch these videos, whether you're a student or not, Send me in your Trick Shot Tuesday 
videos, okay? You don't need to film on Tuesday to be a trick shot Tuesday video. It's going to be a trick shot. And honestly, you don't even need to make a trick shot. If it's just an interesting video, I'll edit it to be cool. I just want some footage. Help me out. Leaders, parents, or anyone else who watches this, if you want to be shown on the Trick Shot Tuesday, send it in to the email below.